Well, good morning, folks. And um, just for a change, I'm setting off on a camp in daylight. Yeah, I'm off to Dartmoor, and um, I'm going to um, I'm going to Fernworthy Reservoir, uh, and then I'm planning to camp at the moment at um, Thornworthy Tor, just north of the reservoir. So welcome to Devon, uh, particularly to uh, Dartmoor. And in front of me now is the reservoir. And then beyond it, if I just come out this way a bit, directly ahead of me now, if you follow the line of that path straight ahead, um, up on the top there is where uh, I'm hoping to spend uh, or to, to camp out this evening. The other alternative that I'm going to investigate first is whether or not I might actually go the opposite direction, uh, go up through these trees, find a pathway up through there, and um, and into uh, some of the open moorland, just the other side of the, the trees. And uh, the reason for doing that is that I might well want to be really close to the reservoir first thing in the morning to come and do some shots down here. So I'm going to go and check it out, see what it looks like and, um, and then I'll kind of report back to you guys. This is where I'm thinking of spending the night here and um, so this might do. I'm clearly not the first person to have thought that this might be a suitable space because someone's already made a fire, uh, fire pit here. In fact it looks like there's another one been made over here at some point which is a bit of a shame because when it leaves when it leaves nasty scars like that um, it gives us all a bit of a bad reputation um, but it's nice enough and it is sheltered uh, trouble is I'm gonna have to decide before I go all the way up to Thornworthy Tor uh, whether or not I want to do that I've got to say they did a pretty good job of giving this reservoir a very picturesque setting and look to it. Love the way that it runs down the face of the outflow there. Gorgeous. Although quite noisy. Enjoy the view. So here we are, just a couple of hundred yards short now of the tour. Currently I'm thinking I'll, uh, I'll stay up there, but I'll have to go right up to the top and see whether or not there's a suitable pitch up there that's flat enough with enough shelter from the wind for me to do that. So uh, here we go. I've got to say that this uh, this view from here and this place is 
so much more than I expected it to be. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I think I'm going to definitely make this home for the night. Uh, time to go back in a moment and uh, get my rucksack and bring it all the way up here. Lovely. say that this place is beautiful look at it you certainly have to pay a lot for parking but they look after it that's for sure and they've uh, they've done a lot of good work here I was saying that uh, I don't think the greens on the screen are really going to quite do this scene justice because they're really vivid and really bright in here. Look at this amazing tree. is on the windy side of the, uh, of the tour. So sun sets in a bit less than an hour. I'm hoping to get a sunset picture looking over this way. The sun is actually setting in a different direction to my right. So we'll be pointing away from it, but you know, we may get a little bit of red in the sky looking the other way as well. I'm gonna get blown off here in a minute. So I'm gonna go down into the shelter of, my, of where my tent is and uh, and think about my composition as well. Now there is a Logan stone over here to my right where there's some sheep over there and um, it might be possible to get that but the, the ground does kind of fall away the other side of it and so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get that S4 ground for the reservoir. Well, good evening, folks. I'm afraid I haven't done a lot of um, a lot of video for uh, a while because I've been running around like a mad thing, trying to make the most of um, the sunset. And because uh, we did have a sunset, um, even though I was I was very much expecting, as per the forecast, that it would just be it would just be cloudy, but we did get a sunset. So. Um, so hopefully um, I've got a shot or two that's worth uh, that's worth keeping. 